guys, it's Sue, you're not so crafty crafter. Long time no chat. I've been busy setting up for the new school year, but we started back on Wednesday, and there's a lot of changes in my job description as a paraprofessional. So I had some adjusting to do oh, mentally. You know how that goes when you're starting a new job. You gotta psych yourself up for it. Went smoothly, but it's been a busy week and a half because I've got to, had to go to trainings and meetings and such. So, But I thought today I would stop in and share a little bit of a haul with you. I am going to do another video here once I get this one set and loaded um, on a technique that I saw on Facebook. And I might do a third one later on depending on how much I get done. Because I do have to make a card for my son's associate who has a birthday Monday. So I've got the base done. I just got to finish it off a little bit. And then I want to make some Halloween cards and play with my fall stuff. So we'll see. Plus I want to play with some of the new stuff that I got here. Um, I'm going to do this up front rather than at the end. Because at the end I always seem to scramble and forget about it. If you like the videos that I'm shooting for you, give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't already. And if you really do like my videos and you can't wait for the next one, Go ahead and click the little bell icon. That'll notify you whenever I put a new video up. Um, <clears throat> I do want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I do appreciate your support in every way. And I find that I'm making some new friends along the way. So that's really cool. Um, yesterday, my husband and I decided to go to lunch. And well, actually, we just wanted to get out of the house. And we decided to go to lunch. And we found our way to Des Moines because he thought maybe he wanted to go spend some time at Bass Pro Shops which is up in Altoona. Well, Bass Pro Shops is open till like 8 or 9 o'clock. And the stores I like to hit close at 7 or 8. So, <clears throat> so let's go to my stuff first. I'll be quick, I promise. And then we can spend the rest of the afternoon at Bass. And he was cool with that. The first place I hit, and I want to share this with my local friends. If you're in the Iowa area, specifically the Des Moines area, even if you're down where I am in the southern part of the state, there's a scrapbooking store. It's called Memory Bound. And it's, I've actually got the address here. Let me see if I can pull this up here. It's on North Ankeny Boulevard in Ankeny, Iowa. There's the phone number. And then there's a website. I don't know if they actually allow you to shop online. They have some things that you can get, but I don't know that you can shop the whole store. Definitely worth the trip to check it out, though, because as a mom and pop shop, I was really expecting their prices to be jacked up a little bit. And that didn't seem to be the case at all. So I'm going to go ahead. I will put the memorybound.com website in the descriptions below so that you can click on it and check it out for yourself. Um, like I said, it's a mom and pop shop. And I was really surprised. They have a, if you sign up for their emails, they have a calendar of events that they do. They do all kinds of trainings. They do like probably three or four a week, if not more, because I know they had one going yesterday when I was in the store. And I know... Either next weekend or the weekend after on Saturday, they have two classes back to back, different types of classes, and then they do one in the week. And in the in the calendar of events, they give you all the supplies you need, and of course, you can always buy what you don't have. So, and that's a huge draw. But I'm going to go ahead and share with you some of the things I got while I was there. Where is my box? Where did my box go? Sorry, folks, I'm missing something major important here, and I don't know where I put it. This is weird. Anyway, well, <clears throat> I was able to pick up the Tim Holtz stamp platform. Here it is. Sorry, my son's paper was over. Da, ta da! There we go. How cool is that? I've been looking online to buy this, and every place I look, even though it might be three dollars cheaper, they nail me with like ten to twelve dollars shipping charge. So I still end up paying close to $45 for it. And I really wanted to keep it as close to 40 as I could. The cheapest I saw was $39 or $33.99 on Tupelo. And they didn't offer shipping, but it was like 10 to 12 day wait. And I am really super impatient. So when I walked in the store and I saw this sitting in the checkout area, and then they had it over with the stamp presses, and then they had it in the Tim Holtz aisle. They had them everywhere. They had plenty of them in stock. And the price was the regular retail of $39.99. It was not jacked up to $45 or $47 to 
to make a profit, it was the full $39. And I thought, okay, it's not going to be $33, but I can take it home and use it tonight. And that was worth you know, the extra few dollars that I paid. And it is every bit as good as all of the reviewers say it is. Now, if you already have a Misty and you're happy with it, you don't need this. If you're just starting out and you want something like a Misty, but you can't afford the Misty, this is the way you want to go. I do have the We Are Memory Keepers one, and I will continue to use that. And I may even do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two of them. This is definitely a sturdier product and <clears throat> excuse me, a much better product. So I am really, really happy with that. This is just the overlay. I have it in my drawer so it wouldn't get knocked on the floor and stuff because I got some cleaning to do here, ladies and gentlemen. So you know what that's like. But I was able to get some really cool things in this store. They have everything. They carry all to new. They carry Lawn Fawn. They carry Tim Holtz. They carry Graphic 45. They carry, oh, I mean, just everything. Everything. The, oh, I can't even remember the name of it, but it's a really popular scrapbooking kit that's out right now. And they had tons of them. The, the Hit hit Kit Club or the, the Rep Girl or... I, if you know what I'm talking about, put it in the comments below because I'm losing my mind, but I know exactly what it is. So it, it was really cool. And I mean, everything is set for Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas. And they have rows and rows of paper and stacks and kits and embellishments. And I mean, it was just, it was a little overwhelming for me. And I would have liked to have had more time to actually shop and look at stuff. But they had things that I haven't been able to find at Hobby Lobby. So that was really awesome, and I did grab some of those things up. So let's get started on that. Of course, you saw the Tim Holtz thingy, Tim Holtz stamp press. I did, my son was with me, and of course, this stuff bores him. He's not a crafter, but he was walking around waiting for me, and he said, Mom, they have SpongeBob paper. I said, okay, go grab a sheet. We'll figure out what to do with it later, and he did. This is the sheet he got. I don't know if you can see, SpongeBob is embossed there or plasticized or whatever and then on the back it's the pineapple so what he's going to do with this I do not know um, this is by EK success and they have awesome stuff but like I said what he's gonna do I don't know we'll probably just tack it up in his room on his wall because he's happy with that um, the next thing I picked up was <coughs> this bone folder by EK tools and also EK success I have been watching a YouTuber and a Facebook liver by the name is Alexandra and she's from Hedgehog Hollow and she's on a lot of different design teams honeybee and there's a few of them that she does and she highly recommends this bone folder now I thought I was gonna pay like $12 for it it was $5.49 so definitely grab that baby up it's a higher quality plastic and it will not damage your paper, makes crisp creases, rounded point for wide end, for scoring the rounded point, for scoring the wide end for rub-ons. Ah, if you get a pack of rub-ons and you don't have the sticks, you can use that for rub-ons. How cool. Read the packages, folks. Boy, I did not even realize that. But yeah, I'm excited to use this because I have two bone folders. One is in my scoring board and one is supposed to be up here somewhere. And I can't find it. I can never find it when I need it because it slides down inside here. Oh, here it is. And it's chintzy. It's from Recollections. And it came with my card making station. So I just keep it there so I have it. Um, the next thing I found was some glossy accents. And I've been wanting to buy some of this. And it's $6.99 at Hobby Lobby. Of course, I can use a coupon for it. But this was a nice big bottle. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And... When I was at the checkouts, I noticed they had a little box with every $20 purchase that you made. You could get one of these mini glossy accents for a dollar. So this stuff that I'm showing you right now, my husband got for me as part of my birthday stuff, which was earlier this month. Um, the stamp press I bought myself. So I was able to get one with this order, and then I picked up one to go with when I bought my stamp press. So... I have two little mini bottles, and those are going to stay right here on my turnstile, right with my glues. And I have already started playing with them, and I'll show you what I made here in just a minute with it. The next thing I picked up was We Are Memory Keepers. It's a quick stick, and I believe it has three ends. This piece unscrews, and you can flip it. There is a 
a tacky end for like sequins. There is a pointed end to poke out your dies. And then there's a chisel tip to use to pick up your small adhesive backed embellishments. So like if you're creating a die and you've got the sticky on it already, like you can use the Stampin' Up sticky sheets or I know Sizzix sells them too, where you put the whole thing on your piece of paper before you run it through your die cutting machine. And then when you pull your die out, it's already got the adhesive on the back. This would be good for using that. You know, pick it up so you don't get the adhesive, you know, rub off on your fingers. So that's what I grabbed that for. And I've been wanting one for sequins because I'm going to make some shaker cards. And that was the other thing that I did pick up. I have not been able to find acetate sheets, just clear, plain acetates. Nothing with designs on it. <clears throat> and they had it for $2 a sheet, so I grabbed three 12 by 12 sheets of acetate. And I've already put that away so it doesn't get wrinkled and <clears throat> torn and stuff. So that's why I'm not showing that to you. And then the last thing I picked up while I was in there was... This is a new release from Lawn Fawn. It's their rose gold embossing powder. And this store had every type of embossing powder imaginable to man. Literally. Uh, wow, Ranger, Lawn Fawn, all kinds, just all kinds. And every color you can think of. And I saw this recently on um, a video. And I can't remember whose it was. I don't know if it was Jennifer McGuire's or somebody, but they did a recent Lawn Fawn release, and this was one of the ones that caught my eye. So when I walked by and I saw that they had the Lawn Fawn, I immediately went looking for this one. So that's, I picked that up. So that's all that I got there. And then we went across the other side of town, still in Altoona though, and we hit Tuesday morning, which everyone knows is one of my favorite places to shop. And my husband, actually filled up my cart with a lot of things that were on clearance. So I'll go through those things first. There's a lot here. <laughs> Sorry. And yeah, those, this is all stuff that was on clearance. So the first thing he grabbed, he saw this dye ink. And this is from Ranger. And I have a few of these that I've picked up here and there on the way when I hit Tuesday morning. But this one was in the clearance rack. And it was 40% off with the purple sticker. So I paid $1.19 for that. Then he said, do you need this for anything? And I was like, well, yeah. <laughs> and it was 20% off. And it's just the letters to spell out spooky. But it's by Sizzix. And the original price on this was $15.99. So I got it for less than half price. So, And then he saw this and he said, what can we do with this? And I love how he says we. When I'm here in my room alone, he says, what can we do with this? So we're going to figure it out, I guess. Um, it's a peacock place card. There we go. It's a perching place card. So you put it on your glass and then it shows where you sit, I guess. But it's layered. Um, I didn't take it out of the package, but there's a solid piece. And then there's the two pieces that go together and you put the solid piece in the middle. How pretty is that going to look with a piece of foil in the middle of that or a piece of glitter paper? That is going to look so pretty. And I'll put that on a card. I'll use that as a giant embellishment on the front of a card. That'll be so cool. Then he found this and he said, do you need something for weddings? And I was like, oh, yeah, because we have a wedding to go to next week and I haven't even started planning for that card yet. And that's got to be special because that's for a dear, dear friend. So this is called Something Borrowed by Seven Gypsies. It does have the matching dies with it. It was $10.99 and it was 40% off of that price. So that was a giant score. I am so happy I got that. <clears throat> then he was digging through the paper. So he found this burlap. I've been making these coasters out of tiles. And they're pretty basic. This is actually just made with some glitter paper from my Cricut. And then this one is made with some a napkin and basically they're Mod Podge on and then I seal them with an acrylic top coat or a spray sealant. This one, this one hasn't been sprayed yet though and usually I put felt on the back of them and I thought for $2.99 for five sheets of this I'll try doing something a little more rustic and putting burlap on the back and see how it works. So we'll see. That should be interesting. And then he found the sticker sheets, and he really liked these because he thought these would be awesome on cards, especially like these borders. 
This big thing I'm going to have to use for a scrapbook page, I think, because that's really huge. But it's got alphas, it's got um, tag likes, and it's got these small stickers. These I can definitely use on cards. So and I think there's five sheets in here. Sticker five sheet, yep. So And that was $3.99 and it was 20% off. So that was a good deal, too. And then I found two things that were not on clearance and I bought them. First was this punch board. It's the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. I have envelope templates, which I don't really like. I bought them at Hobby Lobby and I may gift them to somebody. They're just a flat template and you have to score them. And it never comes out right for me. I always shift the paper. I also have this large 10 piece recollections card kit. And it's got a light and it's got all kinds of great stuff on it. But I'm very limited to the size of paper I can make the envelopes with. This, I can go with tons of different sizes. So I really like this one. And it was only $9.99. And then the last thing that I picked up there was this Stampendous stamp set. Oh, there's the price. I was doing a video earlier and I had to stop it for some reason or other. And as I was explaining, I couldn't find the price. There's the price. This was $5.99. It's a Stampendous stamp set for Halloween. And they, the, if I'm not mistaken, this was a kicker to get back in the package. Yeah, these face pieces, you make the hollow, you make the pumpkin and then the face pieces fit inside however you like. So, didn't come with dies. It says there's matching dies available, but they, I didn't see them there, so they probably didn't have them. And it also has this stencil where you kind of cut these pieces out and can overlay your, I guess. I'm not quite sure how that works. But anyway, I fell in love with these because I have two sets of Halloween invitations that I need to make. One of them is a Harry Potter themed. And the other is a whodunit type of theme. Like a mystery, a murder mystery type of theme like the game Clue or whatever. And I cannot find anything for either of them. I did go to this Memory Bound store hoping they would have the Graphic 45 paper that I saw that was a whodunit themed. It was like a 1920s mystery type of paper. And if you've seen it anywhere, feel free to leave the link in the comments for me because I can't find it anywhere. I saw it once and I don't know remember where I saw it. And it was expensive. It was like $22 for a paper pad. So I went there thinking maybe they had it and they didn't. But the other theme is a Harry Potter theme Halloween party. And I cannot find anything licensed for Harry Potter that actually isn't super childish. Um, there, I found some wizard themed, but it really doesn't look like Harry Potter to me. So I saw this hat and I thought, oh my gosh, doesn't that look like the sorting hat? Remember the sorting hat in Harry Potter? So I went ahead and I stamped it to see what it would look like. And it certainly does look like the sorting hat. But I went ahead and I put some glossy accents on that last night to see if I could get it a little more dimensional. And I did. I messed up because I didn't do ink. I had to put the magic marker in this. And the only black marker I could find was a Crayola. And it didn't do a very good job. And then, of course, I kept touching the glossy accents to see if it was dry, and it wasn't. So that didn't work very well for me either. But this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to fussy cut this out and pop it up on the invite. And then across the top, I'm going to put the house that they've been sorted into. And then on the inside, they can do, you know, you're invited type stuff. So I thought that was pretty awesome. But that's all I have for today. <clears throat> I want to thank you all for spending some time with me. I'm going to do a couple more videos. I think I have a technique that I really want to share that's super, super simple. And it falls right back into using materials for back to school. So I thought that was really awesome. So I'm going to do that. Let me get this loaded up and I'll work on that. And I may do a review on the Tim Holtz platform or just show how I use it and such. So... Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, click that little notification, and look down below so you can see some of the links that I have for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.